वेलकम टू बी एस सी स्टाटिस्टिक स्टूडेंट सो इन दिस क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन वन मोर प्रॉब्लम इन पेर टी टेस्ट फॉर डिफरेंस ऑफ मीन ऑफ टी टेस्ट स्मॉल सैंपल टेस्ट एज वेल सी द प्रॉब्लम द फॉलोइंग डाटा रिलेट्स टू द मार्क्स अबेंड बाई इलेवन स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर एंड आफ्टर इन एंड इंटेंसिव कोचिंग You see here that is n one is equal to n two is equal to eleven. So because it is the data is given here and before and after intensive coaching, the same same eleven students. That is here you see observe here marks before coaching marks after coaching. So here are certain marks before coaching nineteen after coaching seventeen. Before coaching twenty three and after that twenty four. Before coaching sixteen, after coaching twenty. So these are the data. These are data is given. Certain data is given, and uh, you have to calculate and you have to test. What you have to test? Do the data indicate that students have benefited by the coaching? The students have benefited by the coaching, which means uh, after coaching marks have increased. If it is increased, then the coaching is benefited from the coaching students were benefited otherwise no that is what the uh, testing procedure it is going to be conducted here right do you understand this this is what the data data of 11 students is given so n is equal to 11 n1 is equal to n2 is equal to n is equal to 11 right and for this for which you have to calculate all the previously in one particular one particular problem in problem number 1 i explained that uh, di is given you have to calculate di also here you see here uh, the solution in which uh, what you have to consider xi and yi are the the marks before and after coaching The xi is before and yi is after the coaching. The marks we have considered. We have considered. If you consider like then xi, the values here, for example, observations nineteen, twenty three, etc. Yi after uh, giving the coaching, the marks uh, which are observed here seventeen, twenty four, etc. What you have to calculate di, the two particular columns di, xi minus yi, di square, di square. X I minus Y I means nineteen minus seventeen to twenty three minus twenty four minus one sixteen minus twenty minus four etc. You have to calculate all the values of D I for all and then summation D I summation I is equal to one to N D I add all these values you will get this and square D I square two square minus one whole square minus four whole square etc. Calculate all the values. Di square and square and uh, do the summation. Summation i is equal to one to n di square total is sixty nine. So after calculating di and di square, you have to calculate uh, d bar. You have to calculate first of all d bar. What is d bar? D bar is an arithmetic mean one by n summation di arithmetic mean of di's. So summation di minus eleven divided by n. Eleven, so it is minus one, and s square, one by n summation di square minus d bar whole square sixty nine by eleven, di summation di square sixty nine, and is eleven sixty nine by eleven minus d bar minus one whole square, d bar square. So finally the value is five point two seven s square. Now you have to calculate s yes. square root of s square five point two seven. It is two point three zero some the value. Whatever the value you get, you calculate the value and uh, take the value. <coughs> I'm sorry. Now, so now I have to consider a three, uh, four points. The null hypothesis first of all, H one, H naught. I'm sorry, H naught. Mu one is equal to mu two. The coaching coaching was not benefited. It is not uh, benefited. And uh, H one, mu one less than mu two. That is one tile test. Mu one less than mu two, and test, which means uh, after giving the coaching, the marks were increased. That is, coaching was benefited to the students. The coaching was benefited. The test statistic under H naught t t is equal to here. Uh, I explained that only one case. T is equal to d bar by s by 
square root of s by square root of n minus 1, which follows at e n minus 1. d bar is minus 1, substitute the values, s is 2.3 divided by square root of n minus 1, 11 minus 1, 10. And so that uh, the final value is minus 1.37. So this is what uh, usually is the uh, t is going to be calculated in this way. So after calculating t, you have to consider comparison and conclusion, the last point uh, in which uh, what you have to consider modulus of t is equal to it here is minus value you have to modulus of t the positive value 1.37 you have to consider after that t alpha comma n minus 1 the 5 percent comma 11 minus 1 that is 10 5 t 5 percent comma 10 at one tile test for one tile test at 5 percent level 10 degrees of freedom for one tile test from the student t tables the t uh, tabulated value or significant value 5 percent comma 10 is equal to 1.812. Compare these two modulus of t 1.37 tabulated value or significant value 1.812. Therefore, 1.37 is less than 1.812. Therefore, modulus of t is less than t alpha comma n minus 1 that is t 5 percent comma 10 which implies h naught is accepted. That is the coaching was not benefited. The coaching h naught is accepted. H naught means Coaching was not benefited. Coaching was not benefited. It is not benefited to the students. Okay. Before and after coaching, uh, the, their marks are looking to be same. The coaching was not effective. That is our conclusion. Thank you.